Thad Brown along with Dan Fates at New Era Field. And Dan, uh, another win for Josh Allen, a second fourth quarter comeback win. Look, the numbers weren't spectacular, 13 to 26, that's 50%. 204, 16 rushing, one touchdown, eh. But it is a victory, and the Bills will take it. And he started out hot. He was 8 for 10, Thad, and then went 3 for his next 12, you were saying? That was the number, yeah. So, but he seemed more like a quarterback. He stood in the pocket more. He didn't just bolt at the first signs of any kind of pressure. I like that he stood in there, really kind of fired off his back foot. He still ran. He still had a touchdown right in front of my face that he made a play out of nothing. So there were positives to take away, but he's just got to start completing passes one way or another. Yeah, and I think that was the, the number one thing for me is similar to what you said. I like the fact that the Lions seem to spy him and take the run game Sometimes away. Two. Exactly, with two guys. And yet, Allen was comfortable sitting in the pocket, had a few plays where he waited quite a while and made throws down the field. Now look, 13 to 26, people are going to say, well, there were drops and there were throwaways, and there were. But you know what? Those happen in every game. And like you said, at some point, that number's got to get better. That point wasn't today. And the one thing other to talk about this, for all the accuracy concerns and who's catching, whose fault it is. Right. End of the game, when the Bills needed two plays, he put a ball in Robert Foster's hands that Foster's not going to drop. Yep. And he put a ball in Jason Kroom's hands that wasn't perfect, but it was more than good enough and in a good spot for Kroom to go over defensive back exactly. and make a play. And that's what you need to see more from Josh Allen. Now, speaking of Foster, Third game this year, the 100 yards, second in a row. Dan, you talked to the guys in the locker room a lot about the rookie and how he's grown. What has been the impression of Robert Foster, this new version since he was cut and brought back? Foster said he needed it. He said that he needed it for himself. He talks about how this is what the position coach Terry Rubisky wanted him to do. And Micah Hyde said that he talked to him when he came back and said, just be yourself. They're blown away by his speed. They talk about it all the time. Micah Hyde even said that every day at practice, he tries to set the GPS speed record. So, so <laughs> it's just, great. so it's things like that. And he says when he competes like that, but now they're starting to understand and he's starting to understand how to be a professional. And he's starting to understand his role. And Micah Hyde again got excited and goes, Teams need a guy that can take the top off a of defense. He's one of those guys. He goes, we tell him to keep it simple, just run. So there is an exciting factor there that he might be starting to figure it out, and he has all the raw talent. Now maybe he's, it's starting to click between his ears. Don't think Foster's going to be a number one receiver. I could be wrong about that. Yep. I think there's potential there. But again, as long as he can be that guy to make the big plays, he had two of them today. Yep. That'll be a big deal when you have a quarterback like Josh Allen, not just because of his arm, but it stretches defenses out and opens up the run Wouldn't game for, him. for Josh underneath. Yep. Exactly. Now, a win for the Bills doesn't mean a whole lot, but it is a win. And some of the guys also talked about this, you know, growing, figuring out how to win is not something that is irrelevant. I don't buy into the idea that you win late in a meaningless season and take it into the next year. Right. But, you know, knowing what it takes to win can't hurt, right? And especially they talked about last week not being able to make the plays at the end. This week they made the plays at the end. And also, the defense was really excited that the offense got that first down. That they were the ones that didn't have to go back out there, try and stop Matt Stafford on a two-minute drill, that the offense took charge. They got the play that put them over the top to give them the lead, and then the offense won the game. They didn't just run the ball three times and say, hey, we'll punt it, and uh, hey, guys, hopefully you make the play. The offense stepped up. The defense said that was big. And, and again, you ask them, oh, you know, does this win go – how far does this win go for a young team? Every win goes far, they said. You know, winning is important. Zay Jones says he went up to Josh Allen after the game and said, it's another win under your belt. Remember this, build off of it. So these wins, even though they seem irrelevant in December, are big for the psyche of this young team. Uh, Lorenzo Alexander added another thing, that it's not really about winning a game or how you win or coming from behind or winning by 30, whatever it is. It's about consistency. Yep. And that's where this team needs to improve on going to next year. You know, winning this game and winning maybe the last game of the year at home against Miami, I think in the long run, even maybe in not so long run, these games are going to be forgotten about quick. But being able to build on it is something that the Bills have to work on for next year. Uh, speaking of build on, why don't you build on what you watch here at RochesterFirst.com. we got a whole lot more stuff. For Dan, I'm Thad. We'll talk to you later.